Welcome everybody to the Historic Preservation Commission for Thursday, August 9th, 2018. Um, what is it I'm supposed to read? I think it's the next part. So, we'll do roll call first. Yes, good evening, Mr. Chair and members of the Commission. Uh, Chair Aikens. Here. Vice Chair Quinn. Here. Commissioner Convery. Here. Commissioner McHadden. Here. Uh, Commissioner James has an excused absence. I have not heard from Commissioner McCready yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready to begin? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. I see we have... Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm sitting in for Mr. Connolly this evening. He should be at your next meeting. <coughs> thank you very much. We look forward to his being able to return, and also thank you again for being here, Matt. My pleasure. Uh, museum representative report. Mr. Mark Lewis, please come to the podium and report. Uh, what an enormously... Um, um, Formal invitation that was. Thank you, Chairman Akins, uh, Commissioners, and Matt. Um, first, I'd like to say on behalf of the museum that we are thrilled that you have chosen to recognize and nominate part of our member of our family, Don Teen, for Historic Preservation of the Year Award, along with I probably didn't quite get that right. Uh, along with Twice Told Tales, and also the Lifetime Achievement for Terry Hill, who is also a longtime friend of the museum, and of course Claire was a longtime um, trustee. So uh, we congratulate you on your choices. Uh, moving on, the museum has um, this Sunday a town talk, 4.30 to 6, called The Architect's Eye. It will feature three local architects, Mark Whitman, Steve Foster, Ross Anderson. I tried to get... Uh, Commissioner McCready to join us, but he has a, a busy plate, uh, so he won't be on the panel. But it's a panel discussion uh, tied to our current exhibit, uh, Star Architecture, um, which is in turn inspired by Craig Walker's recent book, Ojai by Design, The Fine Architecture of the Ojai Valley. And uh, these architects will come. I'll be the moderator. We'll talk about what they think are the best buildings, the most important buildings, and I'm going to ask them which ones are overrated. So we'll see if the sparks may fly. I'll do my best. So that's uh, 4.30 at the museum, 4.30 to 6 this Sunday. Uh, now, a week from tomorrow night is third Friday. The uh, downtown merchants stay open late, and so does the museum, free from 5.30 to 7.30. So... Anyone coming downtown for third Friday on August uh, 17th, please do come by the museum. We'd be happy to see you. Um, additionally, we have, well, ongoing, we have this architecture uh, exhibit, which will be up actually through October 28th. Uh, in the nearer term, we also have a Carlos Grasso exhibit, which is um, in uh, conjunction with the City Hall current exhibit, which we, as part of our program of uh, working with the Arts Commission, uh, which also, by the way, published, of course, Craig Walker's book. So we work with him a lot. And you. Happy to do it. So Carlos's uh, exhibit will be up at our place at least uh, through August 25th. I'm not sure of the, the dates here. Probably the same date. Um, so come on by. Happy to see you. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Mark. And for those out there, Mark has continued as the board president for the Ohio Valley Museum. So, under popular demand and full board support. <laughs> However, he is recruiting for the next year <laughs> and will be all year long. So, be aware if he happens to walk up and sit down for coffee. They always are. They are. <laughs> So next item is our consent, or let me uh, read through public communications. Members of the public wishing to address the Historic Preservation Commission on items appearing on the agenda are requested to complete a speaker card and file it with the secretary. 
Cards are available in the council chamber's lobby. All comments should be limited to three minutes unless additional time is granted by the chair. Speakers should state their name and address for the record and must direct their comments to the chair, not the audience or press. While the Historic Preservation Commission is in session, members of the commission, city staff, and members of the audience are expected to maintain order and decorum and to obey the orders of the chair. Whatever those might be. Okay. Uh, consent item number one. Excuse me, you have in your packet um, the minutes of your last meeting from July 12th. Um, and if there are no uh, additional changes or corrections, we recommend the approval. I make a motion that we approve the minutes. I second. Any comment? Nope. Do we need a Vote, vote call? You can do that by motion. Okay, but. so if we could do that by by voice vote, by voice vote, uh, is everybody in agreement? Yes. Okay, we'll go f for there. Thank you very much. Okay, moving along to item uh, number two, annual historic preservation award, uh, 2018. Mr. Winnegar. Yes, Mr. Chairman. At your last meeting, uh, which was July 12th, uh, the commission. Uh, discussed potential nominees for uh, this year's awards um, of, or recipients for the Historic Preservation Award. Uh, at that time, the commission uh, indicated that they would like to nominate Twice Told Tales, um, the uh, bookstore on Ojai Avenue, and Don Teeting uh, to be the recipients of this year's Historic Preservation Awards and to nominate Terrence Hill, former commissioner, to be the recipient of the Historic Preservation Lifetime Achievement Award. Your packet contains a um, uh, resolution for your consideration, which includes uh, biographies um, and uh, descriptions of the uh, nominees. And we recommend uh, that you uh, adopt this resolution and forward it to the City Council for their uh, approval. Great, thank you very much. So uh, we have here in the audience, we have John, now I blank on your Lambert. last name. John. Lambert, sorry, John. John Lambert, who is here representing Twice Sold Tales. Um, sure. Thank you. Uh, I think I might need to point out that Twice Sold Tales is not an entity into itself. It's the Ohio Valley Library Friends and Foundation. All right, so I don't know what kind of legal stuff is going, <laughs> it has to be, but uh, that's the parent organization, Twice Old Tales is the bookstore. Mm -hmm. okay? And we deeply appreciate your, the honor you give us in the work we did to preserve what was left <laughs> of the original building that could stand. Yeah. So I just need, I thought. I'd okay, great. Like yeah, yes, thank, thank you, John. So, so when we put the biography together, you'll see that I, I called it Twice Sold Tales <coughs> because that's what it's known by, as opposed to the Ojai Valley Library Friends and Foundation, which is uh, what is being recognized, again, because I didn't want the confusion to go in the Twice Sold Tales portion and the library portion because they're, as you say, two completely separate entities. <laughs> One that's essentially owned by the foundation, the other that's owned by the uh, County of Ventura. No. Well, no. the library. The is library is owned by the, the, the bookstore. bookstore is Friends. owned by the French, yes. Yep. Um, and then Don Teeting's here, so I just kind of invited them if they wouldn't mind to come just in case we had any questions uh, in going through the uh, the write-ups that were put together. Um, I have a comment. Yes, Commissioner Comfrey. I spoke with Claire today, and um, first of all, Terry's back in Ojai, which has been a, oh, a lot of uh, work for the family, and they've been focused on that, and probably that's why this is a last-minute call that she made to me, but apparently Terry's daughters wrote a bio that they wanted to surprise him with, and she recognizes that you put a lot of work into this, but she asked that um, we submit the daughter's bio that they've written for review to add and to add to this. Okay, no. That's, and it was, you know, it was a, it's been a lot for the family for the last two weeks, so they didn't get it 
together, they wanted to surprise him with that, so. Okay. Yeah, because I put the bio together and I sent it to them last Friday for them to review. I think they were putting, trying to, you know, get Terry package back home. him up and get him up here. So it was, you know, quite a dramatic week for them. Okay, so Mr. Winnegar, what do we do in that case? I think we would uh, just accept that bio, bio from the family and accompany the, uh, the resolution. Uh, have that as an attachment. Oh, as as kind of an addition to, yes, these, to exactly. the resolution? Yes, exactly. Augment. It could be aug an augmentation, so it could be included, if that's okay. acceptable to the commission. I haven't seen it, so, you know. We'll yeah, we would have to obviously get that, but we, it would certainly be submitted to the city council okay. in one form or another. Great. Yeah, because typically what happens is, um, you know, we do what we did last month. We're doing what we're doing this month. We'll sit it, uh, uh, send it to the city council. They, in uh, not always the beginning of December, because I was going through some historical stuff, uh, putting that together, uh, have typically done it in the first week of December, but our, at our last meeting, they said they could move that up if it was needed for Terry. Uh, yeah, it's impossible to say, but I think just as far as getting the language that they had you know, created, we have a little, we have a couple of days to get that together, or they yeah. do. And well, yeah. So even, even, yeah. So they, yeah, they can send, send that in. Yeah. Yeah. But then we typically can, I mean, what, sometimes I come to the meeting, sometimes I read that, sometimes they have somebody from this, so mm -hmm. I'm sure it's not going to be a problem to insert that Would in the, its place. Is it the next city council meeting that you're expecting to read this? I don't, don't remember. I don't remember. I haven't. I have a list, but I don't recall. I we'll think it is. I think it is tentatively scheduled for the twenty eighth. Oh, that's plenty oh. of time. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, the twenty eighth is the next city council meeting. They've been on a on a essentially an extended six week break because they decided they usually take a couple meetings off in the summer, mm -hmm. and apparently they put those together. So. Okay. Good. I'll let them. August twenty eighth is their next meeting. Okay. Yeah, Great. it was just a very busy week for them, as you yeah, can imagine. Of course. Yes. And I just have a question, and and I had it before Mr. Lambert spoke. In the resolution, should we not be recognizing the Ojai Valley Library of Francis and Foundation as Twice Soul Tales or something like that, so that it's not, um, so that it's actually going to the foundation that is the people we want to give the award to rather than the store as he pointed out. So I'm thinking up here in the, in the where the resolution is, it shouldn't say twice sold tales unless it said it in conjunction with the foundation name, but I'm not an expert in this. Yeah. Um, yes, we could, we could certainly do that. Okay. In, in, in the biography or, um, uh, uh, that Mr. Aikens prepared, yeah, the it, it makes reference to that. It does. So it's we'll definitely. just, we'll just add that to the, uh, to the uh, preamble as well. And that's what, what you yes. think too, Mr. Lambert, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you have any comments? No. I make a motion. Uh, Are we done? Yeah, yeah there's just one, one thing, and, and we'll have time to resolve this, is Terrence, having seen that people with that, is it really with an A? I, Everything I could find outside of here was an E. Do you know, Don? I would think so. uh, That's how this is shown, but I'm used to uh, Terrence with either one R or two R's and an, an E. So anyway, I, think I just... I think I, it's with an E. I, yeah, so I just want to... We'll just clarify that yes. before the uh, city council sure. meeting, too, just to verify that with them. Um, but I'm glad Claire gave you a call and we got that new, new information. Um, any other comments? Otherwise, we'll for open for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to adopt this resolution. A second. Um, Commissioner Connery? Uh, yes. Commissioner McKen? Yes. Vice Chairman Quinn? Yes. Commissioner Aikens? Yes. Motion carries. This item will go to the City Council for their consideration. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, we are now at discussion item number three. Um, we do staff report, report and then public comment, correct? Correct. Okay, so staff report. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 
uh, at the request of the Historic Preservation Commission, the City Council did um, did allocate uh, funding for a Phase One Historic uh, Resource Report for the Ojai uh, Playhouse Theater. Uh, again, on the Historic Preservation Commission's recommendation, uh, in your packet you have a draft uh, request for a proposal uh, that would be uh, issued to uh, a list of qualified. Uh, historic preservation consulting uh, firms uh, for potential response and uh, we would appreciate any comments that you have at this time great thank you mr. Uh, Walker. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry mr. chairman for the record I'd just like to indicate that the owner of the theater has is aware of the uh, Commission and Council's efforts uh, and is aware of the meeting tonight uh, we, we did leave messages for him okay great hey, yeah so Matt and I talked about that last or Matt or James Fagan, I talked about that last week. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, speaker card, Don Tiedi. Don Tiedi, um, I just for consistency had some minor comments and it might help the applicants to make sure we guide them in the right direction. So on um, page two, section two, paragraph two, the fourth line down, it states that almost two dozen structures have been designated local landmarks. I believe we're up to 25, so I would change that to over two dozen. Okay. Um, next page three, number three, second paragraph, requires that the selected consultant shall, pre shall pre prepare and deliver a phase one historic resource report consistent with the guidelines of the City of Ojai Historic Resources Screening Survey Final Report. And I would just encourage you to check that those are the standards, that there are actually standards in that screening report. I believe it's the San Buenaventura Research Associate Report. And Dunk. Time out. We're all still trying to find the paragraph that you're on, except uh, page, for page three. Mr. Quinn, who's re <laughs> following right along. Page three. Page three, right? It's it's paragraph number three, but it's the second paragraph under okay. number number three, scope of services. So I, I would check the um, standards. I don't know if that's meant to be Secretary of Interior standards, or I, I don't think there, and there may be guidelines in that screening report from San Buenaventura Research Associate, but I would double check that's what you're, you're wanting. Um, I would also suggest still, or, or at a minimum, delete it if it's not accurate. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if the correct guidelines are being referenced there. Yeah, I think you're correct. The, what reads final report was actually, I believe that references a San Buenaventura Research Associates screening survey. The, the drive-through. Mm-hmm. That. Are those not addressed in section number four under relevant historic resource documents? That is, but what this paragraph is saying in the second paragraph is that the consultants preparing their report consistent with the guidelines that are con contained in this other report. So I, I think I just suggest making sure that's accurate if there are guidelines in that report or maybe changing it to Secretary of Interior Standards. Um, or, or, or the City of Ojai. If we do have written standards, I would ensure that it, you know whatever we're referencing because the applicant's probably going to want a copy of that for their application. Um, I'd also recommend in the scope of services that the applicant be required to consult with the Ojai Valley Museum. The museum um, on the 100th anniversary of the Playhouse had an exhibit and we have quite extensive resources that are available um, for whoever is chosen to complete this task. But I would definitely encourage them to be required to consult with the museum and review their resources. Um, page four, number eight, states that submission of three hard copies of the draft report for city review and 20 hard copies of the final report be submitted. Wait, wait just a uh, second. So you said page four? Page four of attachment A. 
Oh, oh, I see. It's still Sorry. under scope of services. Yep, that's right. Jumped right across. So that. Okay. there's a reference to a draft report in a final report, and I would just be clear to the applicant what's expected. I would expect that you would want to see a draft report before it's finalized, but I'm not sure what the HPC procedures are for accepting reports because I know we've had some um, issues in the past with report accuracy. Um, so I would just clarify that so the applicants know what they're coming in with or coming in for. Um, on that same page, number four, relevant historic resource documents. The first bullet cites the City of Ojai General Plan conservation element, which I am intimately familiar with, and the accurate date of that is 1987, not 1997. Again, so an applicant doesn't come in requesting the wrong date and not get the information they're seeking. And then one very minor point, um, the start date on the next page, page five, under the schedule of activities, the start date is listed as January 3rd, but on the front page, the start date's listed as January 2nd. So um, again, for proper planning and consistency. So that's it. So on um, page five, Here. under schedule of activities, <laughs> there's a list of activities. Apologize, I should have just photocopied this and handed it to yeah, you. Clear, the, clear at, at the beginning. Okay. Oh. I want to actually pick on the seat. Let's see, we're on three, item three. Page City of Ojai, okay, this keep, one. Keep going, keep going. Yes, down to that last one right there. Dates. Yeah, so the start date is referenced on Page five of attachment A. Okay, excuse us. Um, and that is listed as January 3rd, which I believe is on a Thursday. And then on page one of attachment A, the start date's listed as January 2nd. I, I realize these dates could change, but just for consistency and so the applicant can plan accordingly. Yep. So that's it, thank you. Great, thank you, Don. Okay. Um, just a couple things that are a lot less technical. Um, on page 2 of 22, um, it says, background, the city of Ojai is located in Ventura County, approximately 15 miles north of Ventura on State Highway 33. As an Oakview resident, I drive State Highway 33 over the speed limit regularly. and. I'm pretty sure that I got to the corner of the Y and I made a right on Highway 150. And so. It's 150. Yeah. So, so, so the city is actually bordered, actually has parts of both of those. Right. So. Okay. So maybe we could do a 33 slash 150. Yeah, the downtown part is 150, but the, you know, 33 on the west, uh, west side. Is, is still included. So another, another lesser technical thing. If we go to the top of, where is it? There is. Oh, here it is. So if we go to the very top of page three of twenty-two. Oh, okay. Sorry, I misread that. So that's, again, it's talking about the Ojai Playhouse. It does, so to this date, the 2015 work has commenced but not been completed. So I misread that, so that's good. Any other observations by the commissioners? Uh, the other, other thing that was, the point I made was that there's a lot of reference materials in here, and I'm not sure I've ever seen all of these reference <laughs> materials. <laughs> so I, next to that, the one in section four, I'm like, copies, because I try to collect about everything I can. So I, I, I guess I would maybe make sure that, I mean, these seem to be items that affect us. You know, the historic structures of Ojai, that's pretty easy to find, you just go to the, Historic Preservation Commission site and look down at the very bottom, but other things in here, as you point out, Don, that are referenced, 
um, that are dependent, that this is dependent upon that maybe we should have some familiarity right. with. So I don't know if they're in our binder or not. I believe they are. Um, I'll, we will double check. I'll double I, check. To my too. knowledge, all of these, with maybe the exception of the conservation element, but I'm not entirely sure of that, should be in your ordinance. The second bullet point uh, under relevant historic resource documents, I think should be more properly called City of Ohio Historic Preservation Ordinance. We're on page four of 22. Okay. <laughs> I know. So City of OI Historic Preservation Ordinance. Correct. Um, I believe I've tracked all of the comments that the commission and Ms. Thenia made, but if you can provide your uh, comments by copy or I'd appreciate that just make sure I capture all those okay um, anything else any other comments do we need a motion then to go ahead and oh I just have a question appropriate. sure no, this is a, I'm putting a different hat on as president of the Ohio Film Festival <laughs> <laughs> Make up having, your mind, John. I can't. I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and having gone through the whole process with the reports having to do with Twice Old Tales when we rebuilt re that, will there be a requirement for acceptance of the historical report before a C of O can be offered? Before the what? A certific certificate of occupancy for the Playhouse. We had that as a stipulation with Twice Old Tales that the historic preservation report had to be accepted before we could get a certificate of occupancy. So I'm wondering if that's going to halo into this, which will then impact any possible, the, what the, the time frames might be. Uh, this is pure speculation. I have absolutely no knowledge. I've never seen what you've been referring to. And that's, I that's why worry. Mr. Winnegar gets paid the big bucks <laughs> to, to answer. I, I just worry about I don't these know. things. My, my understanding is that this would be independent of okay. the, the improvements and restoration work that's ongoing right now. I'm thinking of when it can open. Yes. And this, would not, this would not impact that. Okay. Yes. Good. Because we're still hoping that the festival will be one of its opening. Yeah. No, there's no intention, to, to my knowledge, to have this to be uh, a precedent or a prerequisite to the reopening of the theater. Thank you. Yeah, no, that's a Thank good you. clarification, too. Thank you, Mr. Lambert. A good clarification, too. As, and I, I appreciated how some of the things were, were written in here. Um, uh, in such a way, for example, it says in, on page 4 of 22, in that uh, first full paragraph, should the report conclude that the property is worthy of consideration as a landmark under any of the appropriate cr criteria, the city may. So there's a lot of ifs. This isn't being done, as in your case, to landmark the property. The, this is being done more so for us to truly understand uh, the historic, p potential historic um, information that pertains to uh, the ISIS theater. And again, it is, uh, in here it mentions historic structures of Ojai, 37 historic non-designated buildings in the city of Ojai. Again, that's just kind of a list that's been made up out there, nothing official to it. It is listed as the ISIS theater, again, in the historic structures. Iris? Yeah. It's ISIS, I-S-I-S. -I -S. Yeah, ISIS. Yeah. I just think I wanted to change that. If it's wrong, it's <laughs> Craig Walker's fault. So <laughs> he's not wrong. Just, for real. No, I just, yes. I just assumed it would be a flower. I don't know. Just, um, let me ask. Speak. Of course, please. There is, uh, I'm sure everyone in this room is aware of it, but the um, OhioHistory.com that um, Elise <coughs> wrote an amazing uh, article all about the history of the theater. And if anybody just wants a refresher, about um, the history and all the different changing of hands and everything. It would, anybody, Ojai citizens interested, it's very, very interesting. It's ojaihistory.com, and it's under the Ojai Theater. 
endlessly rabbit hole of information on that page. It's so wonderful. If I may, Brett Radigan had a whole thing on the theater a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah, and this city did a whole exhibit on it, Elise uh, DePoit. Uh, Missing my name. Uh, anyway, put, put together quite a bit of information on that. Quite a bit. If there, I'll, I'll, uh, in, I'll see if we can not make a link to that. But any other re reference materials that can be offered uh, that we can include in here are welcome. Great. So, and and again, what Don said very pertinent is, you know, please talk to the museum. Yep. Yeah, the yes, mu Don. museum has that information, and also the Ohio Valley History book. An illustrated history. I don't quite have that title correct, but the, that's a good. The Ohio Valley Museum edition. Exactly, <laughs> which is available um, at the museum, and uh, the Ohio Valley Museum Research Library has copies that are available if people are interested. So, thank you. Great, thank you, Don. Any other thoughts on the getting the history? It was kind of the it was a priority that uh, we, the commission, sent to them. There were items, other items that were listed and that shows shown under future business. Um, so, did we do a motion? We don't. These were the main ones. Nope. Mr. Winnegar, do we need to do a motion to no, support that going no, ahead or just? Not, no need to take formal action. Great. Thank you. We appreciate Thank your you. comments. Okay, uh, future agenda items, and there's a section on that that just talks about the OHI Day coming up on October 30th, October 20th. Mr. Vega, welcome. Um, yes, Mr. Chairman, at uh, this point, uh, we don't have any items uh, yet scheduled for your September 13th uh, meeting uh, or for the October uh, 11th, but that may change uh, over the next couple of weeks. But as you indicated, OHI Day is scheduled for October 20th, and the commission has generally uh, sponsored the tours uh, of the jail uh, building. No, I just walked in, so maybe it's already been said, but um, we have met on the social media uh, policy, our plan that we talked about. So um, we had uh, talked about trying to bring that back at the next meeting. That was a late development. So. Um, if HPC would uh, be open to that, we can bring that back at the next meeting. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go to Commissioner McCatton on an update on that when we get to Commissioner comments. Um, future agenda items. Potentially future agenda items, but not on this agenda. The uh, status on the um, uh, terms and that we put together that was submitted at the council that has then gone to, can you give us an update on that, Mr. Vega? Yes, we can do a quick brief one because it's not on the agenda um, and obviously we can't deliberate, but uh, at the last council meeting, the HPC ordinance went to council. Um, council um, requested that we send it to the state and so we've done that. We're waiting for the response back from the state at this point. And so we can bring that, um, back but i believe the council requested that it come back at the august 28th meeting so we may take it back to council with the state's recommendations and then kind of go from there but we can bring it back to hpc with the report back on what came from the state okay and so that's the reason why we didn't have it as an action item on this meeting is because we're uh, waiting the information from the state. Yeah, I'm expecting it. If if I might, uh, I haven't been at my desk for the last few hours, so <laughs> it might be there. Uh, but we're expecting it, and uh, we'll pat, we'll share that information with the HPC. Amazing how that digital technology can sneak <laughs> in while we turn our heads. Yeah, it's faster than me. Um, okay, uh, planning report. No other information to report, Mr. Chairman. Okay, uh, Commissioner Comments. Commissioner McCatton, can you give us an update on the meeting that uh, Mr. Vega just shared with us? It's, uh, James Vega and I met and we um, are working on a draft copy going, discussing what can just be simple um, post updates. Um, I deactivated our um, 
Twitter account because we decided not only is the city not wanting to do a Twitter, it just doesn't really fit for what we want to do anyway, even if um, it, it wouldn't be something I'd want to fight for because it doesn't seem necessary. And I will be keeping um, whatever photos that we do on Facebook, I will be putting them into Instagram, but putting them more of an archive that also won't be live. So our main uh, outreach will be Facebook to start with, and it'll be divided up into different sort of levels of, um, uh, it'll be more quarterly of uh, stuff that I will be bringing to the city, what we decide, um, or whatever ad hoc that we're dealing with, to um, go forward with that, the three month plan of what we want to feature. But for other things like um, simple post uh, retweets, or not retweets, sorry, reposts um, from Facebook, like if it's from the city of Ojai, I won't have to call the city of Ojai or email the city of Ojai, can I put post what you just said that has to do with us because it has to do with the theater or, you know, the tennis courts, whatever, you know, um, the women's center, anything that's maybe a historic landmark or has to do with our buildings or has to do with the city that our um, readers or followers might be interested in. If it's something that's from the city or something from another commission that's already been approved or possibly from the um, museum, then I should be able to just repost it without having to go through um, a rigmarole. But there's this other little gray area that we're working on in our draft of, of other things like it's Santa Barbara and Ventura County and and uh, the National Park Service um, when it's dealing with historic preservation, if it's something within our county or something that pertains to Ojai history that um, we, we haven't decided, we're working it out and he's gonna be discussing it to try and figure out whether or not I need to go through a city to have them look at it and give the old stamp before. I mean, none of this is gonna be political, it's just gonna be public outreach, it's gonna be information about what we do, so I don't really see any problems with it. We're just trying to get it really clear before we come back to the meeting next month, and hopefully um, I'd like to start it before uh, Ojai Day, so we are putting up stuff, because it's the one time where we actually are out there with the public, with the jail, and people are talking to us, they're seeing us. It'd be nice to have some um, leading up to it, that's some information that just starts to talk about who we are. Excellent. Well, thank you both for, for that. I mean, exciting. A um, little bit of bureaucracy to, to get to that point, but it seems like you've uh, set the path, so that's. Yeah, I, d I will say I think we made progress because what we're trying to do is create a list of you know, a streamlined process, things that we could just post that don't have to come to us and wait for, you know, uh, people to review them and things like that. And I think we made a lot of progress on that. Uh, it's just now it's trying to whittle down the things that do require, you know, uh, review before going out. But, but I think the bulk of what it's going to be used for is going to be able to be an automatic streamlined process. Excellent. Again, thank you very much. Any comments, Commission? Um, okay, so uh, updates. We did uh, meet, no idea what day it was. Monday? Was it Monday? Yes, it was Monday because I was finishing an interview and pulling a trailer into Lake Casitas so my grandsons could enjoy camping. Um, so Monday we did do an interview for the uh, opening we have that was uh, vacated by Commissioner Hill. And so that nomination hopefully will be going to the council on August 28th. Um, and very exciting to have that person uh, um, asked to be joined. Uh, the other thing is I noticed that the uh, city council is kind of in a hiatus, but they had a special meeting on Tuesday in which they uh, recognized several commissioners from other other underlying commissioners who had were being reappointed somehow there weren't any historic preservation commissioners who I know are waiting to be recognized for volunteering continuing to be volunteered you notice that too I did notice that. <laughs> <laughs> so did I I read it twice just to make sure I hadn't missed anything so maybe we could uh, get our Historic Preservation Commissioner is that. You're right. I think uh, in hindsight, that was an oversight because they were 
tying that in with appointing the new commissioners and they weren't ready yet to appoint the new commissioner here uh, okay but we'll make sure it's on the 28 agenda okay great that would be helpful um what else anything else from the commission no it's a quiet summer any else mr winnegar mr vega okay thank you very much